François Joachim de Pierre de Bernas, May 22, 1715, November 3, 1794, was a French cardinal and statesman. He was the sixth member elected to occupy seat 3 of the Académie Française in 1744. Biography Born at Saint Marcel d'Ardèche, Bernas was of a noble, but impoverished family, and, being a younger son, was intended for the church. His father, Joachim de Pierre, Seigneur de Bernus, was a captain of cavalry and in 1697 was married to Marie Elizabeth, daughter of Nicolas de Chastel de Condres. The cardinal's elder brother was Philippe Charles Françoise, 1714 to 1774, Baron de Pierreburg, Marquis de Pierre de Bernus, Seigneur de Saint Marcel. He was educated at the Louis Le Grand College and the Seminary of Saint Sulpice, Paris, but did not take holy orders till 1755. Bernus became known as one of the most expert epigrammatists in the gay society of Louis XV of France's court, and by his verses won the friendship of Madame de Pompadour, the royal mistress, who obtained for him an apartment, furnished at her expense in the Tuileries, and a yearly pension of 1,500 livres. Voltaire admired his verses, calling him Bebet Lopgetier. In 1751, Bernus was appointed to the French embassy at Venice, where he acted, to the satisfaction of both parties, as mediator between the Republic and Pope Benedict XIV. During his stay in Venice he received subdiacant orders and on his return to France in 1755 was made a papal counselor of state. Bernus took an important part in the delicate negotiations between France and Austria which preceded the Seven Years' War. He regarded the alliance purely as a temporary expedient, and did not propose to employ the whole forces of France in a general war. But he was overruled by his colleagues. Bernus became Secretary for Foreign Affairs on June 27, 1757, but owing to his attempts to counteract the spendthrift policy of the Marquise de Pompadour and her creatures, he fell into disgrace and was in December 1758 banished to Soissons by Louis XV, where he remained in retirement for six years. In the previous November he had been created cardinal by Pope Clement XIII. On the death of the royal mistress in 1764, Bernus was recalled and once more offered the seals of office, but declined them, and was appointed Archbishop of Albi. His occupancy of the see was not of long duration. In 1769 he went to Rome to assist at the conclave which resulted in the election of Pope Clement XIV, and the talent which he displayed on that occasion procured him the appointment of ambassador in Rome, where he spent the remainder of his life. He was partly instrumental in bringing about the suppression of the Jesuits, and acted with greater moderation than is generally allowed. During the French Revolution, he celebrated, in the National Church of San Luigi de Francesi, a solemn funeral for Louis XVI of France, who had been executed on the guillotine in 1793. He resigned the administration of his archdiocese rather than take the constitutional oath. Bernus lost his influence under Pius V, who was friendly to the Jesuits, to which he was hostile, reduced him almost to penury. The court of Spain, however, mindful of the support he had given to their ambassador in obtaining the condemnation of the Jesuits, came to his relief with a handsome pension. Bernus died at Rome on November 3, 1794, and was buried in the church of S. Luigi de Francesi. In 1803 his remains were transferred to the cathedral at Nîmes. His poems the longest of which is La Religion Benji, Parma, 1794, have no merit, 
they were collected and published after his death, Paris, 1797, etc. His Memoirs at Letter of 1715-58, 8 vols. Paris, 1878, are still interesting to the historian. After his death Pope Bias VI bestowed on him the epithet Protector of the Church of France. Mm -hmm.